the bible verse is commit to the lord whatever you do and he will establish your plans proverbs 16 verse 3 amen technology can become the wings that will allow the educational world to fly farther and faster than ever before if we will allow it Good morning everyone. I Moira Bhargav, a student of class 4A, welcome you all to our IT exhibition, Technovanza. But before we start, I would like to express my gratitude towards our honorable directors, Dr. Ernest Charles G. Samuel and Dr. Annie Charles, as well as our esteemed principal, Dr. Praveena John Singh, who provided us with an opportunity to showcase our talents. So let's dive into the creative works of class 3, 4 and 5 through their videos. I am Dr. Vishal Vastav from class 3C. Number one benefit of information technology is that it lets people to do what they want to do. It lets people to be creative, it lets people to be productive. It lets people to learn new things that they didn't think they could learn before. Welcome to IT exhibition from class 3. Everyone, I'm Moya Bhagya from Class 4A. I welcome you all to this virtual IT exhibition, being organized by Class 4 of Mount Carmel School, Chandigarh. Friends, the best way to predict the future is to invent it. So let's look at what we have in the store for you. I am a computer virus. Virus means vital information resource under siege. Computer virus is a program. written for destructive purpose it can enter in computer and youtube a social media app i was founded on 14 february 2005 people can show is their talent from me people can learn so many things from me during corona crisis i am entertaining people do not use social media to impress people but you will it to impact people thank you and have a nice day hello everyone i'm pretty sure you all can recognize me after all i'm the one that you are spending most of your time with these days yes you guessed it right i'm a laptop it is a super cool gadget invented by adam osborn you can carry it anywhere as it can be folded it has a inbuilt touchpad and touchpad has a rechargeable battery and has a thin computer screen it may be smaller in size but is high in performance now this laptops are used by people for their office work education online studies banking gaming and much more we must use it wisely and productively thank you this is moira fazil from class 4a have a good day until at zoom meeting app today I am used for video conferencing. I am easily accessible on every phone. During the COVID pandemic, I connected the people and ensured that the show must go on. Hello, my name is Kanan Yagi. I study in class 5, Mount Carmel School, Chennai. Technology will never replace great teachers, but technology in the hands of great teachers is transformation. Today, I represent Class Five for the virtual IT exhibition. I am Anirudh Dutta, student of Class Five A, Mount Carmel School. My story is about two hunters, John and Sophia, and let's see how John got the treasure with the power of his knowledge. treasure using his mind his name was john and there was another woman named sophia who liked to hunt treasure only for her greed they received a news regarding a treasure in jungle so both of them began their journey sophia followed john story of the spooky camp there lived two monkeys on a tree and a cheetah 
near a small river. There came two explorers to explore the forest. While they were cooking food, a small monkey jumped in front of them. And the explorer number two said, Who are you? Why are you here? And the monkey said, Chip Apple. So let's start. I will show you the green first, and then I will show you the codes. There are basically nine levels. Uh, we have to like uh, it's a uh, we have to clear the levels and collect apples. I will show you one level. You you have to uh, you have we have to move it by arrow keys. And we have to collect apple like this. And if we get hit by this, you know, we will die. And uh, let me show you one thing. That it is rocket game. So let's get started. Basically, this game is composed of a rocket, which is a which is fired by the rocket, and the rocks which we have to destroy. We can use the arrow keys to move the rocket up and down. We can shoot the laser beam from the rocket by pressing the space bar key. We shoot the laser beam from the rocket to destroy the rocks. As the rocks get destroyed, we get a point by destroying one rock. If the rocks touch the rocket, the game stops and we dismiss game over. I have inserted all these codes from the codes given in the code block categories. Like for rocket ship, I have made these codes for the rocket to work perfectly fine. Likewise, I have made these codes for different elements called the taco game. I will show you how it works. It has a ball and a taco. The taco has to go into the ball. When the taco goes into the ball, it plays a sound and here is a score button. It increases by one point. When I miss a taco, it will not play the sound and the score will also not increase. I use left arrow key to move it to the left and right arrow key to move it to the right. Put in the game ender so that once the flappy bird comes into contact with the obstacle, the game will end. Now I'll show you how my game works. I have used two variables. One is called gravity and second R is the score. is not the end. In fact, end means effort never dies. With these great words of Dr. Abdul J. Kalam, I would like to present word of thanks. I would like to thank our worthy directors Dr. Ernest Charles Ray Samuel and Dr. Annie Charles, respected principal ma'am Dr. Parvina Johnson and our teachers for organizing this exhibition for us. Special thanks to the students for their enthusiastic participation. As without them, this event would not have been successful. Thank you once again.